So, you know, as a, a fly instructor and as a woman fly instructor, I've had so many challenges than any other male instructor that I know. Okay, so for, um, I want to say the last couple months, I had some issues with a few FBLs that I went to. You know, I landed the plane and I would go and freshen up, you know, and then I leave obviously for the flight, you know. And when I was trying to leave, usually FBOs have these glass double doors, double, yeah. And uh, the doors would just automatically open, you know, for you to go to your airplane. And I have always been doing that because that's just the norm. And all of a sudden, one day, I was trying to leave to go to my airplane and the door didn't open. And I'm standing there thinking, oh, this door doesn't work, right? So I'm trying to wave my hands and, you know, try to get out. And then all of a sudden, I realized it's intentionally not working because it's not working for me. So then I looked at the secretary, you know, who's managing the door. And you know what she said? We don't open doors for passengers. And I was in uniform, okay? So, yeah. So this happened to me a couple times. Uh, so then I felt like I needed to make a change, you know, that I, I have a voice and I need to use my voice. So then I decided that it's really my mission and my civic responsibility, you know, to create visibility and awareness in aviation, especially, you know, in, in, for women in aviation. So I founded a nonprofit organization called uh, Women in Aerospace and Aviation, and our website is www.womaninaerospaceandaviation.com. So the purpose of this organization is to create more visibility uh, to aviation and aerospace, uh, to inspire more women and more young girls to participate in aviation and to follow um, a career path in aviation. and. Uh, uh, to also combat the pilot short shortage because as you, as you know you know we need another what 800,000 pilots in the next 20 years so there's a huge shortage right now and you know uh, with us trying to increase the number of women in aerospace and aviation we can definitely you know uh, have an opportunity to have a good career and also combat the, the shortage um, so to launch my organization I am going to fly around the world in a single engine airplane to 25 different countries, four continents, 26,000 nautical miles to inspire women all around the world to participate in aviation and aerospace. So this global flight is going to take a place hopefully uh, next May, May 2020, and it's going to take me approximately 45 days to do this trip and to make you know all the 25 stops to all these different countries to interact with different young girls and women and to inspire them to pursue their dreams you know because once they see me in person they see that I'm empowered to make this trip by myself that means that they will also be empowered to achieve whatever dreams they have for themselves uh, and so obviously you know we have a team of about 10 people but we are, we are looking actively right now for sponsors to join our team to make this mission possible. So our budget for this mission is about $500,000 and an airplane. You know, so obviously we're looking for man airplane manufacturers to donate a single engine airplane for me to complete this mission and also use this airplane later to train students to produce more pilots, right? Uh, and for, we're also actively looking for a sponsorship. So for you to donate, uh, you, know, you can go to our website, www.womaninaerospaceandaviation.com and click donate. And every penny counts. Every penny goes towards our foundation to help achieve a younger's dream. So if you ever want to become a pilot or be an aerospace engineer, you are in charge of your life and you are in charge of your dreams you know like I was in charge of my dream only I could make it happen you know you have to be proactive you have to go after what you want so if you're really interested you, you know you can look up my website and uh, www.womaninaerospaceandaviation.com and there there's a, a link for you to uh, to find out how to become a pilot and uh, definitely you should ch also check out your flight schools and talk to other pilots. You, know, you can call other flight schools and ask them how to become a student. You can reach out to me personally and I can help you achieve your goals. 
And uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, in Instagram, and Facebook. My Facebook uh, name or uh, link is Woman in Aerospace and Aviation. And I'm on Twitter, and is, is, uh, my handle is Woman in AA. And I'm also on Instagram, and it's Pilot and Two. So it's Pilot A and H hyphen T H U. A and H hyphen T H U. I really love the Sling aircraft. When I was looking for an aircraft for myself, I started doing some research and there's just really nothing that competes with it for, for performance and uh, most importantly, economy. I went to South Africa with my son and did a build assist. So we helped build the aircraft and we got it to Washkosh, as you know, last year. And after we went to South Africa, we had a blast there. I had a fantastic time with my son and he decided he wanted to be a commercial pilot. So. I actually went and started with him looking at schools. I thought, well, even though I know the guys here, I wanted to do a compressed program to get him to the airlines as quickly as possible. And we just weren't at all impressed with what we found out there. I mean, I went to one of these schools and I, I literally was looking at 40 year old, you know, vintage aircraft. And uh, here I had this beautiful sling with a glass panel. And I thought, I'm not sending my son here to learn in one of these old aircraft. Not only that, I mean the school itself just didn't impress me at all. So I approached Matt and John and I said, hey, are you guys interested in doing a compressed program? And they were, and I came on as a partner in the business. Sling Pilot Academy is an accelerated course. It's from zero hours through private pilot, instrument, commercial single, commercial multi, flight instructor single, flight instructor multi, and flight instructor instrument, all in a period of nine months. So it's, it's really to get pilots ready for the airlines as quickly as possible. After nine months, they're going to have 200 hours of single engine time in the Sling 2, and it's considered a complex aircraft. They're going to have 30 hours of twin time in the Technum P2006T, and they're going to have at least 100 hours of simulator time. So we've just ordered a, a Redbird FMX full motion simulator, and we've got that configured as the Technum P2006T, and also set up so that we can swap that out and put in a stick so our students can simulate flying the sling as well. Only 50 hours of the simulator time is loggable, but we encourage our students to spend as much time as possible on the simulator. Total cost for the nine month course is 62,595. And we've got quite a few students that come to us from other schools that will already have their private pilot's license in 80 hours. And for that person, it's 45,595. And they're walking away with all the same ratings and 280 hours all up. Well, the reason we can be fifteen to twenty thousand dollars cheaper than our, our nearest competitor is that we're using modern aircraft, and as you know, modern aircraft are more efficient to run. So, you know, we're using modern aircraft. We're, of course, the distributor for the aircraft. So, you know, we're buying our aircraft at wholesale. We're doing all of our own servicing. So, you know, we save some money, and, and we're able to pass those savings on to our, our students. So, instructor-wise. I mean, as you know, a lot of these schools only have the young kids that are pushing through and in it for getting hours to head off to the airlines. And of course we have those because we're offering all of our graduates a job. But we also have career instructors that have, you know, 40 years in the industry. So one of our instructors, Tomas, he's got 40 years in aviation. A lot of that time is an instructor. We've got another instructor, Sam, who does a lot of our twin engine time. He's had a whole career in aviation. He's been through corporate, he's worked for the airlines. He's done just about everything there is in aviation and now he instructs for fun. So we make sure that we have a good mix of career instructors as well as our guys that are com coming through and, and obviously uh, getting hours to head off to the airlines. It is complex and that's one of the reasons why I wanted my son to learn in a glass cockpit, you know, with the most advanced avionics possible. And that's a really big differentiator for us. So uh, a friend of mine is a senior captain in American Airlines and he brought his son in here fly one of our aircraft because he, he wants his own son to learn on glass. One of the things he mentioned to me is that when they're hiring these kids, they know who's trained in complex aircraft and learn on glass because the guys that have learned only on steam gauges take weeks and months longer to come up to speed. So, you know, we're working with the very latest avionics, we're working with a modern aircraft and we're training our students to fly the aircraft as they need to be flown. 
uh, and we're having some fun with it and we're, we're producing good pilots as a result.